Welcome to our lecture online. Here our next example has a fraction. Both the numerator and the denominator contain the variable we're looking for. We're supposed to be solving this for x. So here we do have a fraction, so we are going to have to use step 0, eliminate fractions, decimals, and parentheses. So in this case we're going to multiply both sides of that equation by the, the denominator on the right side, which means on the left side I'm going to multiply that times 8x minus 8x plus 3 and I'm going to do the same to the right side 8x plus 3. This should be a 3 right here. There we go. All right. On the left side we're going to multiply the y by each of these two terms right here. So y times 8x becomes 8xy and y multiplied times 3 becomes plus 3y. On the right side, notice that the 8x plus 3 cancels out the 8x plus 3, and we end up with 4x minus 5. On the next step, we're supposed to move all the terms that, that contain the x to the left side and everything else to the right side, which means we're going to take 4x and move it to the left, and the 3y and move that to the right, which means we end up with 8x times y, minus 4x, because when I move the plus 4x to the left side becomes minus, equals minus 5 minus 3y. When I move the 3y to the right, the sign changes, it becomes a negative 3y. The next thing I want to do is factor out an x. I have two terms that each contain an x. I want to factor out an x. I end up with x times 8y minus 4 on the left side equals minus 5 minus 3y. And finally, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by the factor of x. So that becomes 8y minus 4 on the left side, and of course, 8y minus 4 on the right side, because I need to do exactly the same thing to both sides of the equation. On the left side, this cancels out, and I end up with x is equal to minus 5 minus 3y divided by 8y minus 4. Now, sometimes we may want to rewrite this a little bit because we may not like the fact we have two negatives in the, in the numerator. So what we could do is we could multiply the numerator by a negative 1 and multiply the denominator by a negative 1. If I do that, I get x is equal to 5 plus 3y divided by, in the denominator, I end up with uh, minus 8y plus 4. And then if I switch these around, I can then write it as x is equal to 5 plus 3y divided by 4 minus 8y. Now, it is not necessary to go through all these steps and write it like that. It's usually just a simple personal preference. I do like the fact it has less negatives there. so. I think it looks cleaner, but it's perfectly fine to leave it exactly like it was over here by writing x is equal to minus 5 minus 3y divided by 8y minus 4, or what most people prefer is to have the variables first and the numbers next, or writing it as x is equal to minus 3y minus 5 divided by 8y minus 4. So this is also a perfectly fine way to write the final answer. Again, most of the time, it's just personal preference. What's most important is the technique that's used to isolate the variable that you're looking for on one side and everything else on the other side. And that is how it's done.